Tamarin plays a really important role in South Indian cuisine. Today I'll be showing you how to make a stir fried rice preparation using tamarin. So we call it tamarin rice and there are various styles of doing it. Today I'll be showing you the Andhra style. Stay tuned. Now the first step is going to be mixing the already cooked rice with a little bit of ingredients like turmeric, curry leaves and some oil. So what I'm going to do is just take a few drops of oil, just put it on turmeric and then I'm just going to crush these curry leaves. I'm not cooking these, these are fresh curry leaves and guys I'm going to be using my fingers because I'm more comfortable with that. You can use a spoon to do the same. Now this is already cooked rice. What I'm going to do is just mix this all up. So now this is evenly coated. What I'm going to do is just keep this aside and get on with the next step. The first step is going to be to switch on the flame. I have a kadahi here. And the first step is adding oil. I've mixed oil with some ghee. I'm adding that mustard seeds. Around 1 teaspoon. A little more than that. Now once the mustard starts to crackle, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. I'll be adding chana dal. Some urad dal. Curry leaves. Dried red chilies. Some ginger, chopped ginger, green chilies, a dash of turmeric again and a pinch of hing. We will give this a nice mix. We will mix this and cook it till you know your uh, dals become a little brown. Now what we'll do is, we'll add some peanuts. I'm adding around 2 to 3 tablespoons. You can add roasted peanuts also. Or you can use your raw peanuts and roast them with oil. So now that this is almost done, I'll be adding tamarind pulp. Now this is one lemon size ball of tamarind. I have used. So now what we are going to do is just allow this to come to a nice boil. Now as you can see um, the tamarind is reduced. You add a little bit of jaggery. Now this is optional. I am adding a little bit of jaggery. If you want you can add sugar. Give this a mix. This is just to tone down you know the sarnus a bit. And now uh, roasted sesame seed uh, powder be adding that. I have used both the varieties of sesame seeds. If you want you can just add the black one. Now once you add this you don't have to cook it much. Just give it a mix. And then we will switch off the flame. Now I am just going to add some salt to this. Give it a mix. You can see this is nice and gooey. We'll add our rice. Now, alternatively, you can add this paste to the rice. I'm just making life easy, adding it to the kadai. Now we'll just gently mix all this together. Now that this is nicely mixed, I'm going to serve this right now. But I would suggest that you keep this, you know, aside for good three four hours. So now you know how to make Andhra style tamarind rice. This is served best with a pickle of your choice, with fresh curds and with aplam or papadam. If you have enjoyed watching this recipe, you have to do these three things. Like, share and subscribe on India Food Network. Until next time, bye.